Welcome to Quick Bites. It's in the world here making five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. So today we are taking a look at salmon steak, potatoes, and grilled tomatoes. Now this is the upgraded version of the salmon steak and boiled potatoes. I figured we'd do this. It just introduces a little bit more with the potatoes and the adding the grilled tomatoes. So if you can do this, you can do the simpler method really easily. So to get started, let's start with the salmon steak and work our way down. We need to grab us one salmon filet, something I did not grab from the fridge earlier. Let us see, we have so much food in here. There's the salmon filet. All right, so we got the salmon filet. We need five grams of salt, black pepper, thyme, and rosemary, all of which is very doable. Five grams of salt, five grams of pepper, grab the thyme, and the rosemary. We are making a mess on the table, but that's all right. Next step is to, we need 10 milliliters of avocado oil in the pan and we'll fry that uh, for 60 seconds on either side. Now I'm going to put the oil in, but we're not going to fry quite yet. We're going to do this all at once. Oop, a little too much, but that's all right. Uh, this game loves to throw things around. We're not breaking the avocado oil today. All right, so that takes care of the salmon. We'll fry that with the rest of the food. Let's get the boiled potatoes going. Uh, we need to cut the potatoes in half. We need to quarter the onion and cut the garlic in half. Let's get started on that. These are all easy measurements, so that's kind of nice. I don't think that, I'm not cutting the garlic. Set that down, let's see if I can't move this over. Oh, that one piece did cut. Just cut it on the table. As for the potatoes, let's cut those in half too while we're here. A bam. Uh, I don't want to mess around with that. I'm sure that little piece of potato is fine not being cut like that, but I also don't want to risk it. You know how this game is. The slightest imperfections will make us miss out on that five star. I don't want that. So that's not why you guys are watching this video. You guys are watching to figure out how to do this right. Same reason why I'm making it. All right, so let's quarter this onion it's spinning around. So let's stop it from spinning because it's the magic onion. That looks like a good quarter to me. All right, so everything's chopped up nice and dandy. Next, we need a pot of water, 1,000 milliliters, 20 grams of salt, and the potatoes. So I already have the pot of water ready to go. Just need salt. And with the salt, we'll grab the potatoes. Those should be ready to go then. These will boil for 120 seconds, so the same amount of time as the salmon. And finally, we need to fry up the onions and garlic. That we need 20 milliliters of clarified butter in a pan. Let's see, can we get this one on? There it is, perfect, 20 milliliters. We're bound to get it right eventually. <laughs> Let's throw the onions in, we'll throw the garlic in. And this fries for 30 seconds. So, uh, and the last thing is the grilled tomatoes. The tomatoes grill for 70 seconds. Now, in my testing, I thought, this is a grill. This is a flat top grill. Why not just throw it on here? It was closest. As you see, I moved the tomatoes over here. In all of my testing, I found that if you use the flat top, it doesn't work. You lose points. It 
it's weird it's it doesn't work quite right so let's turn on all the burners we'll get the stuff cooking yeah make sure you do it over here on the actual grilled part because that's what's going to actually get you the points so we're going to watch for this one to finish first this will finish then we'll need to flip the uh, salmon filet and finally turn off the grill for the tomatoes all right perfect that's done salmon filet is halfway done this can wait we're going to drizzle that on the potatoes when the rest of this is done now it's just a waiting game Tomatoes are fine. Let's check on those tomatoes real quick. Yeah, those should follow quickly behind the salmon filet, so we'll want to flip this quickly. Done. Make sure it's flipped. Now we got a race over and oh, tomatoes. We are quick. We are really quick. Look at that. We still have time to spare. And those tomatoes are grilled. We'll let the salmon filet go. The potatoes still have some time. The uh, last thing we have to do is we need to plate it all. I'll probably start with plating the, tomato, uh, the potatoes. We'll drizzle the mixture of the onions and garlic on, and then we'll serve it. With the rest of the food, of course. Bring our plate over. How's that filet looking? The filet is looking good. Potatoes are almost done. And the mixture is just about ready. And the salmon filet is done. So we'll turn that off. Potatoes are done. So that gets turned off as well. Let's go ahead and get the potatoes out. You could probably, we want to group these up just a little bit better than what they do. So make sure you, yeah, we want to make sure the potatoes are in a pile. That way when we drizzle this on, it is not an issue. I dumped a few things there, that's all right. Yes, we want to drizzle the mixture on. And in my testing, uh, I've done both putting the onions and garlic on and not. It says to just drizzle the mixture, which that was the clarified butter. I don't see anything else about the... Uh, about putting the onions and garlic on, so we're not going to do that. We're going to follow the directions as specified. Put the grilled tomatoes on. And finally, we need to garnish this thing. What do we need to garnish it with? Five grams of dill. That's fresh dill. So let's go over to our plants, track down where the dill plant is. It's somewhere over here. It's towards the end. There it is. So we need five grams. We'll stack that right in the center. Look at that. This is a beautiful dish, and hopefully we get our five stars. All right, let's find out. And we were very close on taste. Uh, we did get the full five stars. Let's see what the complaint is. Everything was perfect, so I don't know what to make of that. We, It's obvious it's not the full five on the taste. Maybe we did need the garlic and onions. It didn't specify. I do see it in the picture now. But regardless, this was enough to get the overall score to five stars. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks. And I'll see you next time at Sim the World.